Hi everybody, it's Kate. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing this look, actually, and I'm going to tell you about my experience at the mat counter. Um, so recently I went to the mat counter. I got, um, I have made friends with Tiffany from Mac and Nordstrom, sorry, and she had messaged me about that she was going to get certified for a, for training. And I was like, oh, I would love that. I would love the opportunity to do that. So this is my recreated face, um, from what we did last night. Um, so I say last night. So I went on Thursday. I think I'm going to put this up. I don't know if I'll be able to edit it and put it up today, but maybe. Um, so anyway, so she, it was awesome. So I got my face chart to show you. Sorry. So I got a face chart from Mac. So this is what we worked on. These are all the like things that we, that we used, all the products, everything. So I'm just going to leave that here. I'll probably frame it. Because I'm cheesebo like that, but like it's my first face chart from Mac, so I was so excited. I had wondered like how you got a face chart, things like that. So it was part of a training session. She was learning how to. Um, she was trying to become a trainer so she can train. And I was like, can I film it? No, we were kidding. We were just talking about it because I told her I had a YouTube channel um, the last time I was in there for my Valentine's Day thing. So I'd given her my information um, so she could let me know when like special events come and all that. So I was kind of excited that she actually like reached out to me. So I was super excited about that. So I am going to teach you some of the tricks that she taught me. The things that I asked her to focus on during our little like session was um, I wanted to learn how to cover spots because I have red spots on my face that I seem to overemphasize when like my breakouts happen. Um, so we did that. I asked about the under eye portion of my face because I, um, I think I put too much on, which is totally like totally true. Um, we talked about so much stuff. I don't even know if I'd be able to cover it all in this video, but um, we talked about everything because it was an hour and a half and it was like I was like a sponge I'm like teach me everything you have because I just want to learn I love makeup I want to learn as much as I can about it um so I asked her to make me fall in love with this duo fiber brush this is not a mac brush this is a renewal brush but I have like a whole bunch of them and I never use them I never gravitate towards them I in my tart video I sh I like hated it I hated the application all of it so I said I want you to make me love this brush so I love this brush now I use this brush on my entire face to put all of my um, my foundation my everything you can use this brush to put on your moisturizer you can use it all in one application and it's not even that dirty so I did bronzer contour like all of it I did with this brush um, so the items that I got, um, I'm going to show you those really quick. So it's like a mini haul slash like what I got. So I did pick up, these were not used in the, um, <sighs> Viva Glam 5. Um, so I picked up two lipsticks, um, just because like we were sitting there after and one I knew I had wanted and the other one, um, I had just, uh, we were talking about the Viva Glam line. I really like the Viva Glam line. I only have two, um, two lipsticks from the Viva Glam line. And don't mind my nail polish. I'm trying to go get a manicure because they are jacked. Um, anyway, so I got Viva Glam 5. This is so pretty. I, I don't know why I didn't pick this one up before, but it's like a pretty nude color. It's frosty. It's just gorgeous. So I have that one now um, to add to my collection. And I have Modesty. So I got Modesty. Um, it's just a nice, like, it's a pretty, like, nude. This is from the, I think it's the, it's a cream sheen. Um, so I really like this one. There's a couple more on my list, um, so we'll see how that manages. Um, I think Giselle got the baby, so I gotta hurry up. So I got a Prep and Prime, I got um, Light Boost, and I got the Sheer Select Moisture Cover in NW15. This is for the under eye area. I'm gonna show you how I use that. And I'm going to show you how I use the light boost as well, all with my duo fiber brush. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you like this video. I had a fantastic experience um, learning from these ladies and it was just, it was just awesome. So I really hope to be able to do it again. Um, so that's it. So here's the tutorial portion and I talk a lot during it. Bye. I'm just going to demo the stuff that I learned yesterday from Mac using my own like stuff that I already had only because I didn't have enough, I mean, I didn't have enough money to buy everything that I wanted to buy. So. Um, this is just my L'Oreal Lumi foundation. I'm using it on a duo fiber brush. Um, I asked Tiffany, like I told you guys, to make me love this brush. And 
you really don't need a lot and that's what I think I learned the most yesterday was um, that you really don't need a lot so I'm yesterday I say yesterday so when I went to Mac I'll say that because um, I don't know when I'm gonna go but um, that was one pump on the back of my hand with my L'Oreal Lumi foundation the Mac foundation was so nice it's a mineral foundation and Tiffany told me you just blend it in circular motions on your dual fiber brush and it actually gives you really really nice finish so I'm just gonna do one more for the sake of like you know cuz I can't help myself um, and it'll probably be way too much but we'll blend it out um so yeah so what she was telling me was you less is more basically that's my interpretation she didn't say less is more but she was like don't use your fingers so I had asked her to um, make me love this brush because I don't reach for them I would like to learn how to use them and I think that was my problem is that I didn't know how to use them so there's the finish on that I'm just gonna zoom the finish on my foundation um, I actually have been wearing this foundation a lot this week um, it has been my like go-to foundation um, so I already primed my eyes I don't my painterly is like too old for me to like want to use anymore so I used the nude pink from Maybelline um, and we talked about like bases and things like that I'm gonna explain to you in another video so I'll probably that's a whole nother story so I'm just gonna go in with the Maybelline fit me I only have like a couple of spots I really have been loving the Mac Pro Longwear. I'm in the color NW20 um, for that this is fair from Maybelline so I'm just gonna let that sit just a couple of seconds I'm gonna go in and do my eyebrows I know she did foundation last I didn't mean to do foundation last <laughs> or first I mean I meant to do it last but um, I'm overzealous about the whole process so I got this pencil it's an eyebrow pencil in redhead um, so she did uh, eyebrows first so I'm trying to do it in like and I got my very first Mac base chart it's Okay, so I'm just going to go in. She used the new, um, they have this mineralized collection. So she used the mineralized collection. It was uh, a little bit like this. Um, this like brownie color that she used was a little bit, uh, I'm trying to think of the word, darker? It was darker. <laughs> like, what's the word? And I will honestly have to go through my collection and look for brushes that are similar to the MAC ones because I only have like a couple of MAC brushes. So I'm going to be right back. I'm going to look for the ones that are similar to the ones I used yesterday and I need to look for my 217 anyway. I'm going to be using the same dual fiber brush for the entire application. I know. Okay, so she used a couple of different brushes. <clears throat> the only one I have, obviously, is the 217 by MAC because it's my favorite brush right now because it's so pretty. So what she told me, I mean, you can use this for anything. You can use it for blending. You can use it all during the same application of your face, which is not something that I would typically do. So she used a lighter. Oh, no. Scratch. Teddy. So I'm going to go in with Teddy first. It's an eye pencil. You guys have seen me do this trick before. I just put it on and then we're gonna blend it out with the 217 by Mac. I know. Oh my goodness. You guys are gonna see this in like truest fashion. So she just blended it all out. And what was cool is I got to do my side of the face and she did her her like she did this side and I did my other side, the right side of my face. And you just blend until it's good. Now, what she told me was, because, you know, I, it, was, it was awesome. It was so awesome because I got to, like, do the whole gamut of, um, like, soups and nuts. Like, it was just, I can't even tell you how excited I was. It was just, like, the best experience. Um, it would be like me spending a day with Darby from Surviving Beauty 2 and like just soaking it all up. So Tiffany is my Darby in the state that I live in. <laughs> and I'm so grateful for her for thinking of me and asking. Maybe I was like a consolation prize. I don't know, but I don't really care. 
So, I mean, don't use your fingers. She said just use the brush. Um, hold it out. I always forget because you have to hold it like out here. This is just what I've learned. And then just, just, just like kind of work the product into your eye. Um, so yeah. All right, so that is like a pretty decent base. I'm happy with that. <clears throat> I'm gonna take the same 217 brush and I'm gonna go in with this like green color. I might be wrong in terms of like the application, like the process of what we did first, but. So you're just gonna put that like green down and you're gonna pat it and then she did it like this like you go upwards with the 217 so you get like a really good application I think I have a booger in my nose <laughs> so you just kinda like it's padding into your eye to make it stick now I notice with the Mac So what she had done first, um, I'll probably tell you in another clip, but I'll just tell you now. So that's it. So you just like pat it all. She didn't wipe off her brushes at all, which I thought that was very interesting. Um, but I'm sure in like a normal situation, you would have like a couple of brushes. And if I had a couple of 217s, I would probably like just use a different one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this like brownie color. And what we did was, we made it a V. So you're going to come down here and then up into your crease, but not going all the way over. And that's what we're going to do. So you're going to take this brush. This brush is so versatile. And you're just kind of like work it in like circular motions. And sh what I have to like practice with is like using my wrist um, and, and making sure that it's applied well. So she really wanted that brown to get concentrated here. It was more of like, yeah, it was more of like a plummy, like, it was just really cool. So like the flex of, I mean, this doesn't do it justice. Like that palette was just so beautiful. Um, it was more of a purpley like color. I'm just going to go on with this um, CoverGirl one. I know, but tap off a lot. So, cause it just, I just wanted it to be a little bit plummy and darker. Yeah, that's perfect. Hers was, oh my god, there was like rose gold in it, so then like the flex of rose gold picked up the flex from Teddy, and it just, oh, it was so gorgeous. And then even the greens had like coordinating colors, which of course they, they would, given that they're shadows, but yeah, I think they're part of their like new spring line. So yeah, just blend. So then... I'm just going to take a clean blending brush, this is a Sigma one, and I'm just going to blend it away. And then what, she took Blanc type, so is this one, yeah, alright, so this is Blanc type, it's a nice white color, I will just use that for, I, she used the 217, but I'm just going to use this, I think she used the 217, she might have used a different brush, so I'm just going to, she said you just kind of swirl it around until you get a really nice like blended line and that was something that I didn't know was that you're using that color to blend down the harsh lines so I was like a sponge in picking up everything that she was talking about <laughs> palette that I'm using is hard candy it's a hard candy one I got it to be a dupe for the Mac one um, well, you know what she did too? I'm sorry, I forgot this step. She sprayed them with Fix Plus because I asked her to teach me how to use Fix Plus. So I'm just going to use the Fix Plus on the last part. Um, and that is going to be packing on um, the dark green with this um, shadow brush. So I'm just going to take that dark green, go in with my Fix Plus, and you're going to get a decent amount. And then I'm only going to do it on the middle of my eye. So. just to kind of have that color pop and I'm just gonna pat it on so it just gives it a little bit of a dimension and you don't have to respray your brush because your brush is already wet I'm doing this justice I mean 
hers was so amazing. We didn't do liner or anything like that. Um, what we did do was use this white as an inner corner pop highlight color. So what I'm going to do is use this synthetic, synthetic brush. Um, this is an art craft brush. This is a Princeton Select Oval Mop. And I'm going to get that on this, like, um, the, like, white color. I think I'm going to get this wet. Now, they use a lot of Fix Plus. I am a little bit shy with my Fix Plus. So I'm just going to make that inner corner pop. Now, the only step that I'm going to do different in, in what she did, it's just a personal preference, um, is my under eye area. Like, I'm going to wait to do my under eye makeup until I'm finished with the rest of my, like, under eye setting, things like that, because, okay, sorry, so what I'm, the only thing that I'm going to wait to do is the under eye, I'm going to wait until I do the rest of my face, only because I don't want the fallout and all of that, so there's my eye look, I'm going to go in with my brows, she convinced me to get this, like, redhead brow pencil, so one end is a spoolie, the other end is this, like, gorgeous color, so she said to comb in the direction so I got to ask her, like, um, yeah, oh, here, I'm like, I had a clip in, um, the, I got to ask her, like, what I want, like, the things that I wanted to work on, it was like, it was like the perfect experience. It was. So basically, the only thing that I learned to do with my brows is to use the right brow pencil, and then to just shade underneath. You're going to outline them first. And then you're literally just going to shape in the direction that your eyebrows are in. So you're really just filling in the dark spots. And that's not what I want. I mean, that's not what I was doing. I mean, that's not what I went on. So I want mine. Now, she had a brow gel. She didn't show me how to use it. She didn't set my brows. So I don't know if that was just because I kept distracting her. Um, but yeah. So this pencil has fibers in it that make your lashes stay, which is probably the same type of like the Anastasia, but look how nice that brow is. Mm. And I told her, I'm like, I don't usually care about my brows. Like they are what they are. Like their sister's not twins. And the other, the trainer that was there was like, girl, you are so right. So I'm literally just going to pencil that lower part in. And that's it. I mean, it's really, I'm really satisfied. <laughs> My eyebrows are done. Don't you like them? I love them. And she actually used the color redhead. Because I was like, oh, I like brown. So I'm going back in with the same fiber brush. Um, I believe she used a different brush. <sighs> so we used the, I, I purchased this because I used to have it in NW15. And then I just stopped using it, I don't know. So the two things for under my eyes we're gonna use are Radiant. This is the Prep and Prime Light Boost, and this is the NW15 um, in the Select Select Moisture Cover. So what I was told is that you need to use, um, like I have really dark circles, like you can see them really well today. So really dark circles and less is more is also what I learned. So like I'm victim the same as like anybody else is like in putting like way too much product on. So you're just going to dab it on. And that's literally, I mean, I probably used way too much, probably way too much. Okay. And then you're going to take that same dual fiber brush and you're just going to kind of blend it underneath. I'm fairly certain she used a different brush. I'm not sure. I thought we used a different brush for this, but I don't think so. So see how that like totally covered and what what she told me was these duo fiber brushes the bottom part is natural hair and the top part is synthetic so the synthetic portion is what won't allow the product to stick to the brush so you get a better application and that's what we were talking about so then next I'm going to go over top of that with light boost and I'm just going to do a little bit and we're going to work it down into a V and this, she said, well, I, I used way too much. Like, you're only supposed to use, like, literally, like, two clicks, I think. And then you're going to highlight your face. Um, we talked about the whole, like, drawing the picture on your face. And she said, you know, you can do that. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, yeah. 
and we didn't set it with anything like we didn't set the under eye area with anything um, maybe I'll have to ask her that the next time I go to the counter but I really thoroughly enjoyed my little like time with her okay so now I'm gonna go back to the eyes I'm gonna finish up my eyes and I'm going to show you that so they use what did she use opulash she used the opulash I absolutely love this um, I heard extreme I can't um, can't give it up I'm sorry to find my tweezer man eyelash curler And I really hope I'm doing this justice. I'm not really sure. And if I'm not, I'm sure she'll tell me and be like, okay, these are the things that you need to work on. Yeah. So far, I'm loving this brush. I really am. So I really like how my under eyes um, kind of came out. I'm going to be using um, the Neutrogena. I just picked this up recently. It's the Neutrogena Sheer Mineral Foundation. Only because I didn't have the um, back skin finish, I totally fell in love with it. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to do my um, underneath with Max Teddy. So what we do is you just kind of draw a line, you know, to kind of... She didn't do this part, I'm doing this part different. What she did was she took that brown color in the mineralized palette and literally like sculpted it out underneath. Um, this I used for green, so I'm not going to use that one again. But I'm going to go in with this, um, it's a synthetic brush, this is a concealer brush. I'm going to go in with this one and use it, and I'm going to mix these two colors together because I don't have the exact color. So I'm going to go in with that like brownie color and then a little bit of the purple, and then I'm going to like tap them off on the back of my hand. Um, and I'm just going to go in and like smudge underneath my eyes. And that's literally all I'm going to do. So what she did was literally like, I mean, she kind of like went in and tapped and you could totally do that. Um, this is just like me interpreting what she did. So I'm going to put on my mascara. You guys all know how to do the mascara thing, but, um, they really emphasize like pulling up. Um, I'm, I'm not going to do it that way. I'm sorry, but I get the wiggling part, but I understand their concept in it in the whole wiggling and all. This mascara actually gets all of my lashes, so I don't find that I need to do the back end as often. Um, and I just really, really love this mascara. So then the other tip, I know I showed you guys this in my Valentine's video, I will link that one below, is you look down and you kind of brush your lashes forward. So the, the opposite direction. So you're kind of just like brushing them forward and then putting them in place. And that's literally all that you do. I'm going to do the other eye and I'll be right, all right back. So I'm back. We used, I'm going to use, I'm sorry. So she used Fascinating um, Eye Coal by MAC, which was, it's a, it's a white um, pencil. I don't have, I don't remember which white pencil I can use under my eyes. So I'm going to go in and I actually asked if they had a bone colored one and they didn't because white was a little too stark for me. I'm going to use this Rimmel um, in Nude. This is a great, great pencil to get. Um, so I'm just going to line my waterline with that. Um, I don't have a problem with the Rimmel ones watering my eyes. Unfortunately, the one from MAC really, really upset my eyeballs. So, I'm just going to go in with a little bit more mascara. But see how that made my eye pop? I don't know if that's what... It, I, I know it was supposed to do that. So, next we're going to go in with this... Um, the... The, uh, the powder that I have from Neutrogena. Just to set all my makeup. And you don't really need a lot of powder at all. So I'm using the same dual fiber brush as I did with all of my makeup application. Blush and contour. So we're going to contour with um, Harmony by MAC. This is the Harmony that I have. Um, let me move my light so you can see it. There's Harmony. I'm going to use the same dual fiber brush. And I'm literally going to go just that much 
and that's it. Um, so what the trick that she taught me, which was so cool that I've actually never seen is you use your middle finger. I'm not going to give you the finger, but I'm going to show you. So she use your middle finger and then you place it like this and literally that's as far down as you want to go. And that's where you want it. So you're going to go from like the top of your ear down and you use that middle finger and that's what you're going to use. You're going to use your middle finger, not like the person that like taught you. I don't have anything on my lips. Let me... The lip primer was the bomb. I'm just using Blistex. It's what I got. But the lip primer that she used was amazing. Okay, so then I'm going to go in with Gingerly by MAC. It's this color right here. This one up top. And I'm going to use the same duo fiber brush. And you're just going to literally... I don't think I've actually used this one. You're going to put it on the top of your cheek. And that's it. So it's like the most natural makeup I've done in like forever. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Actually, I mean, I really had, I mean, I keep telling you guys this. I really had a great time. I really did. Okay, so there's my eye makeup, cheeks, all of it. I'm going to do lips and then we're going to talk about it. All right, so those are the blushes. This is my blush palette that I already have. Something sounded funny. All right, so lipstick. She used Oak Lip Liner, which I used to have. I don't think I have it anymore. You know what? I don't have one, so we're going to go in with the lipstick that she used was Viva Glam 5. Yeah, Viva Glam 5. Oh no, I'm lying. Viva Glam. So here's Viva Glam 2. I apologize. So she used Viva Glam 2, and that's what I'm going to use. This is just like the best nude. And it abbies up. She applied it with a, um, a brush, and then she set it with a really peach. peach um, lip gloss. This is Coral Heat by Maybelline. And just pop that right on top. Now the one that she used, which I just got this all nasty, um, supposed to have a six hour wear time. These Maybelline ones, you know, they're all relatively good. The MAC ones realistically have about a four hour wear time, so that's it. So that's my look that I got from the MAC counter yesterday from my little like excursion I hope you guys really enjoyed this video um I really really had a great time so thank you to Tiffany for thinking of me thank you for having me and thank you to Josie as well she's the um the trainer she was so funny I really like her personality so anyway so I'm hoping to be able to do more of these videos because I want to be like a sponge and like learn everything that I can but I absolutely love it um I don't know if I would purchase the Mac um palette only because I have this one and I think it would, you know, they're kind of similar. So, um, yeah. So I hope you guys subscribe, like this video. And if you want to see more, let me know in the comments or thumbs up this video. If you want to see more, I can try and get Tiffany to teach me some more. So, all right. Have a great day. I'll see you guys later. Bye.